Alright guys, we're going to do a shoot and review uh, of this Bellum 762 by 39 if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, 123 grain full metal jacket. I'm going to be shooting them out of my Anderson uh, AM15 or whatever it's called here. Uh, chambered for the 762 by 39 caliber. Uh, it's just your standard carbine length. Uh, it's completely factory stock. Just got this little cheap scope on there. Um, but... We're going to shoot some groups at 50 yards here, uh, and then move it out to 100, and then I got orange steel gong out there at 200 yards. We're going to smack around. Now, I just wrapped up uh, testing this Gecko, if I'm saying that one correctly, uh, 762 by 39. Uh, so if you missed that, I'll put a link in the description of that video if you want to check those out as well. Uh, so, but in this one, we're going to see how these bellum or bellum or however you say it, we'll see how these perform. So obviously they're brass cased, uh, but uh, another thing I like about them is they come in this little handy dandy uh, plastic case there. So I personally like that for storage and it'll keep them uh, nice and clean and arranged and all that compared to, you know, like your steel case and those little crappy cardboard boxes that fall apart in a year. Um, but I also noticed that these primers are sealed, which is good too, so that'll keep moisture from getting inside of them. So uh, that's real nice too. Um, I've been seeing these online for a while, and uh, I got them before the prices were too elevated to where I didn't have to pay much more than what I did uh, for st uh, steel cased. Uh, so I got them for... Uh, pretty good deal there and so for that price i would run brass all day long i don't have any problem whoops i don't have any problem with the steel case stuff through my rifle um but prefer to shoot brass if i can also the uh bullets are a little softer because the wolf and tula are it's a copper alloy it's not a hundred percent copper jacket uh it's not really an issue with the 762 by 39 because it's a lower pressured round uh, but on higher pressured rounds like 223, 556, five, those will wear out your barrel a little faster. Anyways, like I said, the, the price gap's a little further apart now. Uh, but when these were real close to the same price as steel, why the heck wouldn't you buy this over steel? Or, well, at least that's what we're going to be testing today. So I'm going to quit my yapping here and we'll get to shooting these. The target's down there. Anyways, so I'll do this first group zoomed out. Then we'll zoom in for the others. Like so-ish, uh, they are shooting C, so you should be able to see them somewhat, but once we get out to 100 yards, I'll put the GoPro down there so we can see it uh, real nice and clear for the 100 yard shots. So again, uh, starting out 50 yards, and currently this rifle is zeroed for 50 yards, at least it was with those uh, gecko rounds over there, so we'll see if point of impact shifts any. <laughs> wow wait till you see this group i am highly impressed with these um i was in that gecko video i was trying to make excuses for the accuracy on those which i mean i was this isn't a perfect setup and perfect rest obviously but it's the same setup i used on those and uh well these are shooting a lot better for me so that's good uh so we'll get zoomed in here and that was the other thing i was going to mention that um not the most perfect rest for me here today. So it's going to affect my accuracy a little bit. Uh, but that group down there, man, that that's tight. That is a tight group for uh, 762 by 39 So no complaints there.
<laughs> okay, we got another great grip down there. So I don't think we need to shoot a third one. We're doing great. Let's uh let's go down there, take a look, get some pasties over there and over those and uh, move out to a hundred. And there is the groups at 50 yards. So I stupidly forgot to bring my tape measure down here, but I can tell you by looking at this that those are just a hair over one inch, inch and a quarter maximum. I mean, here's my thumb, <laughs> fingers, and I have small hands. Um, so yeah, uh, from edge to edge there, that's probably a hair over an inch. Uh, but center to center, it would be less. And then over here, had it not been for that one flyer, that would be even tighter. But if you uh, include that, again, it's probably just a hair over an inch there. All right, got them pasted up here. Uh, now, mind you, though, that, again, that is just shooting off of my coat. So it's not even perfect shooting conditions. It's not a perfect rest or anything like that. Just shooting off of my coat. Got those groups at 50 yards. Um, so with, uh, you know, proper bags and all that for shooting as accurately as possible, those groups would tighten even more, which is, that's really good for 762 by 39 especially out of a budget $500 Anderson AR-15 or AM, well, AM-15, whatever it is. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I would love to see what one of those would do out of, um, those bolt action like Ruger American. Uh, they make it in a bolt action 762 by 39 um, so likely that those would perform even better out of a bolt action. Um, so I gotta get one of those and try that. Uh, but anyways, we're down here to 100 yards now. So we will get some groups at 100 yards and I'm, obviously they're gonna open up some because we're at 100 now and then also my human error is gonna be uh, elevated at 100 yards. But nonetheless, let's see what we can do at 100 yards. And then out there, you can't see it, it's behind this mound here. <laughs> there it is. We'll smack that around at 200 yards some after we get these groups at 100. <clears throat> All right, here we go to 100 yards. Splice in the GoPro footage about now. Let's see what we can do. I think I flung that shot just a little bit there. Yeah, I would say so. I can see that I'm definitely moving around uh, more here at 100, obviously. Um, but that's still a pretty good group. Let's try another one. I think I pulled that one a little too. I, I, I'm getting my heartbeat through the scope. I can see the, the scope bumping up and down with my heartbeat, and I'm trying to time it in between. I know it's only 100 yards, but still, I am experiencing that right now. Like I said, if I had a better setup than this jacket right now, uh, I'd be doing a little better. Help me eliminate some of those variables.
Yeah, I can tell some of those shots are me. I'm just uh, moving around a little too much. But uh, let's let's try a third sh uh, third group here. Maybe I can tighten it up a little bit. I flung that one to the right a little. That was me. Yeah, I just messed that group all up. I pulled that fourth one a little too, so I just said screw it and sent that fifth one down real fast. So anyways, I guess that's about as good as I can do because I'm just moving around too much. Um, but that, that's still, for not having a perfect rest, that's a really good group for 762 by 39. Uh, let's swing out to that gong at 200 yards there. Uh, smack that around some and then we'll go uh, check out these targets up close. So I'll zoom you in a little further after uh, five shots here, but we'll start there. Again, that's 200 yards out there. Okay, obviously I'm not going for accuracy or anything like that, just trying to hit it somewhat quickly. Those are all center mass down there. Let's see if I can get, it's just going to look like crap now, but sorry that's so pixelated. I get a better camera here one day and we won't have to deal with that anymore. Ten hits in a row. Let's go check them out. All right, well, this portion is going to be uh, on the GoPro here, so that's probably why it sounds and looks a little different. Uh, phone died on me, which I don't blame it. Been recording all day. Uh, so here's our 100 shot, our 100 shot, 100 yard groups. Obviously, we had pasties coming off here, so there's a bunch more holes, but there's that one up close. There's this one. So these are all two and a half to three inch groups. Um, generally speaking, any AK and any budget AR, whether it be 223, 556, or 762 by 39, uh, for any of those that shoot uh, under three inches at 100 yards, it's actually a pretty good rifle because generally your uh, entry level ARs, they're shooting three up to four inch groups at 100 yards. Same thing with your run of the mill uh, AKs. They generally shoot three or four inches at 100 yards as well. So anything to come in at uh, under three inches is uh, pretty good in that category. Obviously, you know, you can spend more and uh, get better results, but for the type of rifle used in this video um, and that caliber, um, it's not bad, especially when you consider that. Um, like I said, I'm dealing with some human error from trying to shoot off of a jacket. Uh, I tried my bag, but it wasn't working out uh, much better, so I felt a little more steady just using my jacket. Um, but as I mentioned during the video, I was moving around some still, so uh, with a better uh, setup, I could shoot even tighter than this. So that would definitely be uh, sub-3 inch groups, possibly even down to 2 inches, or maybe a little better if we got lucky. Uh, so that's pretty good ammo there because uh, this is better than average grouping here. All right, so then down here at 200 yards, I'll have the gong go check out real quick. 
all right and then well you guys saw the footage i wasn't trying to be accurate or anything i was just slinging them down here and i don't believe we missed any so i was aiming about here and uh, there's our group so i mean here's my hand again i got small hands uh so even uh, somewhat rapid fire there no problem 200 yards all right so um, one thing I did forget to mention is I absolutely would have coroned those, except for, as I said, I've been out here all day. Um, dropped my chrono on the dirt from about this high up earlier today doing a pistol video, and it quit working on me. <laughs> so otherwise, I would have got chrono results for you guys, but unfortunately, because of that, uh, I wasn't able to do so. But anyways, if I didn't already say so... Um, any of this stuff you see in the videos, if you guys are interested in any of it, the shooting bag, the thing I use to hold my phone, which is my camera, shooting muffs, targets, anything like that, you see if it tickles your fancy, uh, links in the description for that, so you can go check them out there. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, so that's our results. I'm extremely happy with these, so I'm glad that I got a few boxes and uh that's code there <laughs> so yeah this stuff is fantastic um a lot better than that gecko i just tested previously uh sealed primers like i said the nice plastic sealed box you got to tear this tab to open it uh, so it's somewhat sealed from uh moisture you know as long as you don't go hot cold hot cold anything like that it's going to keep them nice and clean um extremely satisfied with those highly highly recommended like i said Right now, the pricing, it's uh, considerably higher for those, at least uh, most places, over just buying the steel case wool for Tula or something like that. But even at that, I'd say absolutely worth it. But thankfully for me, when I got them, uh, they were only just priced above steel, which is why I got them. Uh, well, not only did I want to try them out, but I'm like... Man, for only 5 or 10 cents around more than the uh, steel case stuff, heck yeah, I'll try this brass out. So, yeah, these things are, are great. And like I said, this is just a factory stock Anderson. This is actually like a 10 to 15-year-old Simmons $40 scope. Um, so, yeah, it's not even a fantastic rig or anything like that, and it, it shoots these pretty good. Uh, like I said... I would love to get my hands on one of those bolt action uh, Ruger Americans in 7.62x39. I bet that would shoot those fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it as always. Hope to see you on the next one. I also wanted to mention that um, here soon I will be doing a long range video with this rifle and this ammo. 300, 400 yards for sure. Maybe 500 depends on what kind of results I get so I'll have that coming up soon as well so we have that to look forward to if you want to see that um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one